to my channel so today I am doing a it's mainly an eye makeup tutorial but I do include kind of the finishing skin products and the lip but yeah I am doing a makeup tutorial using the Anastasia Beverly Hills modern renaissance palette it is literally me in a palette when you guys saw that I got hold of this so 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 many of you requested a tutorial so you could do so many looks with this I tried to do something a bit different than I would naturally want to do which is probably like a winged smoky eye and a nude lip or something but yeah so I decided to kind of go with more of the pink colors in this palette and do something a little bit different for me just realized I didn't show you inside the palette Ooh. but yeah if you like the look of this makeup look make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and let's get started So I've already done my base and my eyebrows. All products will be linked down below as normal, going straight onto the eyes. I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. It is gorgeous. Here's a close-up, as you can see, is everything I'm obsessed with warm color-wise. And I'm going in with the color Raw Sienna on the brush that it came with. I actually really love the brushes that come with the Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. But this um, look today is gonna be rounded, hence why I did my base first. And I'm just buffing that into the crease as the initial transition color. Then I'm going in with Burn Orange, which is just a slightly warmer, deeper brown. Just using that to further deepen up the socket, and I'm using a MAC 217 to do this. Using the same windscreen wiper promotions backwards and forth, and keeping it rounded. Like I said, just using that color to deepen up the crease. And then going in with Red Ochre, the same type of motion, but just concentrating this mainly on the outer kind of quarter of the eye. You guys know the drill, just to really create a smoky gradient effect. And then going back in with the original fluffy brush that we use just to blend everything out. For the lid color, I am mixing these two shimmery shades together and just pressing that onto the lid using a flat brush. I am obsessed with the pigmentation of this palette. It is the best quality ever. I'm not even kidding. The shimmery shades, sometimes they don't um, have a really strong color payoff, but this one did. And then I'm going in with, I think this was... Oh my god, I can't remember the name, but I have linked it below. And it's a really nice pink colour because I did want to incorporate mainly pinks in this tutorial. And this one had a bit of shimmer to it. So I'm just using this to transition between the light shimmery colour and then the red ochre or yeah, the red ochre crease colour. And yeah, it just creates a nice transition on the lid. And then going back in with a fluffy brush, like always, and just making sure everything is blended out seamlessly. Then I'm just going back in with the fluffy brush again and just kind of perfecting everything almost, just making sure the pigmentation is how I want it to look and yeah, just making sure it's exactly how I want it to be. Then going in with Love Letter on the lower lash line, just on a pencil brush and really smoking and buffing it out. I decided to go for a kind of bright colour for waterline or lower lash line, just as something a bit different and to add a pop of colour for the summertime because this is such a summertime palette. Then going in with the lightest shimmery palest colour, I'm using that to highlight my inner corner and my brow bone. This is going to really help open up our eyes and also lift our brow bone as well. Then using this NYX lip liner in Bloom, it's also called Hot Pink as well, using that in the waterline, I'm not sure how safe that is, so if you have a pink eyeliner I'd use that. Then using my favourite rounded lashes, these are Velour Flash It lashes from their new Naked collection, and I do have a discount code below for money off, so make sure you check that out. Then going back to the skin, I'm using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Give Me Sun on a Duo Fiber Brush. I'm obsessed with using a Duo Fiber Brush at the moment, just with bronzers and for contouring and stuff, just because it doesn't allow you to apply too much product and it really blends everything out. Then using the contour pan from Makeup Geek in Bad Habit, on my Real Techniques, I think this is the contour brush, just using that in the hollows of my cheekbones. As you can see, the difference gives a lot more definition. I really like this one. I think it might be one of the lightest ones that they do because it's so subtle and it doesn't look muddy at all. I'm obsessed. 
using that on my nose as well, just for a soft contour. And then I'm using this new blusher from Becca in Tiger Lily. Oh my god, these luminous blushes are to die for. They give the most gorgeous glow to the skin. This one has a bit more of a peachy, pinky, orangey undertone. So it really brings out the colour in my eyes and I love it. And then this, sticking with the pink theme, is the Peach Glow Highlighter from Laura Geller. Again, it's a new product. I was doing like a Snapchat unboxing. So if you follow me on Snapchat, you'd have seen. And oh my god, it is beautiful. It's a really, really soft pink. It's not really intensely pink or peach, but it's a bit softer than normal and I'm just dusting that basically all over my skin but since I was using the new Anastasia palette I decided to use the new glow kit as well and mixing the two lightest colors and just tapping that on top of the Laura Geller highlighter just to really intensify it Then for the lip, I'm using my favourite bright colour from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is Rio, just to tie in with the bright pink lower lash line and kind of complete the summer look. I'm obsessed with this colour for summer. And that is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and leave future requests in the comments down below. I'm going on holiday soon, so I'd really appreciate some suggestions. But yeah, like I said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!